Oh, so much potential. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. So yeah, tonight we are talking about Red Letter Day and I'll get to what I was saying in my opening intro there in a few minutes, but uh, it's directed by Cameron McGowan. He also wrote it and it stars, there's not a lot of people in this movie, uh, Don Van uh, Scoot, I think that's how you say her name, Haley Foss as her daughter, and then uh, Caleb Gartner as uh, her son, and then there's a few other people in it as well. But um, those are the three. Basically, um, I'll read the synopsis really quick. It is, while adjusting to a new life in a quiet suburban community, a recently divorced mother and her two teens receive mysterious red letters instructing them to kill or be killed. Okay, so that, I mean, we all know this if you've seen the trailer for this. Um, the opening scene of this movie was, it was awesome. I thought, wow, okay, here we go, right off the fucking hop, we're going to get right into this because... Basically, it shows a guy running down this suburban community, and he's going from mailbox to mailbox, grabbing all these, these red letters that people have gotten overnight. And he comes to this one old guy's house, and the guy catches him as he's in the mailbox, and just right there blows his fucking chest apart with a shotgun. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I'm like, okay, you know what I mean? Like, he just, it shows it, it's, it's bloody, it's fucking gory. And yeah, and then the very next scene, he's there hosing his steps down, waving at his neighbors. And I'm thinking, okay, let's fucking go. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then that's it. That's it. That's it till like the halfway point of this movie. There's like, I don't know, man. Like I was saying, this movie had a ton of potential. And I didn't, I didn't hate this movie by any means, but I'm gonna, I'm hoping anyways, I'm hoping that because of lack of budget, they had to keep the kills to a minimum because when there was killing in this movie, I mean, it was awesome. <laughs> Whoever did the, the practical effects for this was, was just, I mean, there's no shortage of blood in this movie when there is blood in this fucking movie, let me tell you. But it's just getting to those points that just seems to take forever. And this isn't a long movie either. Like Cameron McGowan, I think this is his first kind of feature length film. Everything else he has showing on his IMBD is short films. So, but I mean, this movie's not very long either. It's, it's just over an hour. I think it's like an hour and 16 minutes or something like that, or an hour and 14 minutes. So, um, which really does help because I mean, the story is just a simple one and there's going to be people out there and I've already read this too. People are like, oh, this is, this is a Canadian movie too, but people are, uh, people are, oh, this is just a Canadian grudge or, or uh, purge, sorry. And I'm thinking, no, it's fucking not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it has sort of the same idea where people, well, no, it, it doesn't. It doesn't actually because um, it, the purge, you have free reign to kill whoever the fuck you want. In this, in this story, it's like someone is picked. You know what I mean? Like they, they pick two people that kind of match up um, due to their internet usage, right? And they pit those two people against them. So they get this letter basically saying, you have to kill this person and it has a picture of them with their address before this person comes to you and kills you. And they get the same letter with your picture and your address on it. So, I mean, it's people killing people, but I mean, that's nothing like the fucking purge. So I don't know. You just, you read some people. It's just, it's just mind boggling how kind of stupid some people are. Although I get it, you know, whatever, a whole bunch, but this, this doesn't give people permission to fucking kill. It's just this, this, this band of, of uh, kind of um, internet uh, people that get together, um, kind of like uh, Unonymous, or is that what they're called? The Unonymous? I can't remember the, where the, the white mass, um, only the, in here they call themselves the unknown. So, but anyways, that's, that's like the gist of the story. You get this letter, and then I guess you can either choose to hide, or you can go out and kill this fucking person that, that is in this letter before they come and kill you. So, but I like, what I did like about this, was the confusion that everybody was kind of showing. Like some people just went right for it. You know what I mean? And, and you know, tried to kill the other person. And then other people, like, I mean, there's one scene where the mom, uh, played by Don Van, uh, Don Vanderscoot, I think that's how you say her name. She's running through this yard trying to get home to her kids. 
and there's these two fucking hillbilly kind of hick guys sitting in the backyard and I think the way they were talking that they got the letter to kill each other but they're just sitting there having a beer you know what I mean choking around about it and then there's other scenes where you know people are actually taking what this letter says and going out and killing people so but okay <laughs> So I'm going to, okay, hang on. Before I get into the bad of this movie, the, the, the good things was it's short. Um, the story is simple. I mean, there's not a ton going on here. And the, the gore and the, and the kills, I mean, there's tons of blood when they, when they do kill people. I mean, it's, it's, there's, I don't want to say too much about the movie, but there's one scene at the end where a guy gets hit in the face with like a meat cleaver, or not a cleaver, but one of the meat pounders. And his jaw literally splits off. <laughs> it's just fucking hanging there. It's, it's incredible. The practical effects in this movie are fucking killer. And it kept me involved, which was good. Because I'll tell you, the bad about this movie is the acting is fucking terrible in this movie. I, I don't know if they were sp supposed to act like that. Like Don Van Vanderscoot does a, a pretty good job. I mean, she's, she's the mom. But I mean, the, the, the kids... I mean, man, like half the time I, I thought they were reading cue cards. And then there's, I, I guess I, I really shouldn't name names. You can just watch it for yourself. But there's one scene where, where Melanie, played by Don, goes to her friend's house. Uh, what's her friend's name? Uh, Alice. They just have a, a brand new baby, her and her husband, Louis. And I'll tell you, man, like <laughs> that scene with involving this Louis character... I mean, it, it looks like he honestly was reading fucking cue cards. Like, I can't act, and I could do a better job of acting than this guy. Unless he was supposed to portray that character in that way. But the whole time I was like, what in the fuck? Like, do you not want to be a part of this film? Because your acting is fucking terrible, dude. It was like, literally, I, I think he was just reading off cue cards. It was that bad. And that wasn't the only person. I mean, I don't want to name names, you know what I mean? But I just... What really detracted from this story were, first of all, the lack of kills, okay? If you're sending out fucking red letters to an entire community, I mean, this movie should have been a fucking bloody, gory mess, like, for half of it at least, you know what I mean? Especially if it's only, like, 70 minutes long. And it's not till, really, into the third act where we get most of the kills, you know what I mean? Or a lot of the blood. But it's just, and the acting, I mean... Woo, just watch this movie. I'm not saying you can rent this movie on YouTube for $1.99, okay? So absolutely watch this movie and rent it. Because seriously, like it's not a bad movie. Like for the, I've seen a bazillion times worse movies than this. I, again, like I said in the beginning, I don't know if I love this movie or I fucking hate it because one minute I'm like, oh my God, this is terrible. You know what I mean? Because of the acting. But then the killing starts and I'm like, oh fuck. All right. Well, I'm right into this now because it's bloody gory mess. But then there's no kills for another 10, 15 minutes. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to chalk the lack of kills up to probably budget. Okay. But I mean, that's no fucking excuse. I mean, all the, all the blood in here was, was practical. And they made it a point of showing, tried to make this movie larger, like a grander scale, with, you know what I mean, these community shots. And there was lots of background actors in here that I'm pretty sure would have loved to have been doused in blood or chopped up into fucking pieces or something. And they didn't do it. You know what I mean? They, they showed a couple kind of after the facts of people kind of bloody, you know, getting help to their van or in an ambulance and stuff. But I don't know. Like, the, the kills were great, but they dropped the ball big time on the amount of kills. They, they really should have had more. So, and it, it's really too bad because that really, and the acting too. I mean, for the most part, the acting was terrible in this fucking movie. But, I mean, we can be forgiving because it's low budget. I get it. And, again, practical effects, gore effects, great. But, I mean, this is definitely lost potential here with this movie. This movie could have been something fucking wicked. And instead, it was just okay, <laughs> in my eyes anyways. To give it a rating, I would probably give this movie like maybe a, a six, maybe a five and a half and a six. I really, you know, if they would have amped up the, the kills and, and you know, the, <laughs> there was just so much dialogue in this movie that didn't fucking need to be there. I'm not watching this movie to tell this mom, to, to listen to this mom talk to her son about some fucking deer story in the minivan. Like, I didn't... Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? Like the kid's sitting there with his legs broken in half and his fucking bones are sticking out. I want more of that. You know what I mean? More crazy fucking kills. 
that's what we tuned in to see in this fucking movie. And again, I'm going to say because of budget, but God damn, <laughs> I, don't know, I just wanted more. So anyways, I'm going to give it a six. Uh, it's a shame really, because this movie had a ton of potential. So anyways, uh, Red Letter Day, definitely watch it though. Please rent this movie and watch it. Again, $1.99 on fucking YouTube. You cannot tell me you can't afford that. Like, seriously, you, you'll, you'll like this movie. You just won't fucking love it. So, anyways, if you have seen it, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. And if you haven't seen it, get off your ass. Go rent it for two fucking dollars. And then come back here and let me know what you think of it. And, yeah, guys, that's it. That's just, man, oh, man, this movie could have been so fucking good. But, anyways, Red Letter Day, let me know what you think. And until next time, guys, stay scared.